Hello, we will continue to talk about the katraminogiko techniques or the ground techniques in Jujutsu. Uh, it's very important to, to realize that the, uh, bringing this into a context, we shall see that uh, in our school, the Katami no Iko techniques, they are studied uh, according to the needs of that time. That means, when we look to our techniques uh, in, in Shonen or in the beginning of the study until Sensei graduation, we see lots of hundreds of passages and uh, and chokes and arm locks and, and, and locks all over the body. And when it comes to Chuden and we come to a deeper Bujutsu, things get a bit different. The degree of violence, it's, it's quite different from what it's usually shown. So we will see uh, one of the methods that we could say, particularly Oga Sensei developed in his time, which is how to uh, how to put together, or how, to, how to align in a row uh, stages of passages. That is, uh, trying to, uh, uh, how to create a situation, a scenario for him, so that he will uh, get into this scenario and uh, we, will, we will fulfill one stage, then go to the next stage and always trying to deceive him or to put him in a situation in which he thinks it's more favorable to him to get my arm or to get my leg or to roll over my body or so on. It's quite interesting that Augusta Sensei, uh, <coughs> in this method, he used to say that uh, you can have as many stages as you wish. You can have uh, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine stages, and you can have them them in a row. However, he realized and he thought that uh, it it gets more difficult very often to the okay or to the other side, to your enemy. If we put it like if, if we put him like this, that the odd uh, a odd number of passages. You know, uh, it's, it, uh, it, it gets more difficult for him to deal with that. So if, if I have, if he had uh, found a, a four stages sequence, he would then think and then understand how he could progress, how he could develop and enhance this to a five stage sequence. Uh, because of this, this reason, the odd number, it's usually more difficult for, for him. In a method, we shall Remember that a method is a principle, is a thought, an idea which can be that can be uh, reply, uh, can be applied to uh, any other situation. But of course, Katamiroko is a very particular and interesting study, and uh, well, it's also very good to to point out or to note that as many other uh, subjects that we have, Katama no Yuko is a classical signature, a classical topic and subject, and for this reason it does not have, it, it, uh, it never had the meaning of, of competition or how to uh, win, how to compete with someone, how to deal with, with someone, you know, um, under rules. So this is more of a study aiming the uh, life or death situation when it comes to Bujutsu. So it's also very important to, to see, we will show, we'll see some, some techniques and we'll have a, a salsa of uh, many atemi and how, how they would think of the human body when we are uh, just on laying down on the ground or ground techniques. So for this sequence, we'll start in Harajime no Kamai. He will start in Harajime no Kamai. Hara, as we all know, is the, the central part of the human body, and Jime means to, to strangle, to choke, or to, you know, to, to press. So Harajime no Kamai is this position that, that we, can, we can see. So there are many, there are hundreds of, of ways of uh, uh, coming from this position, myself, no, and, and passing over his, his guard or his kamai. So for now what we'll see is I have to find a way to relieve the pressure over kidneys and over my, over my hips and ribs as, as well. There are many exercises for having your legs quite strong so this would be a very 
meaningful pressure. So what can I do here is, first of all, as we just saw in the last, in the last video class, we can have our knees very close to these buttocks and have our face and our major and my odd um, targets of my body well protected always, always. So first of all is having our elbows in our central line being uh, far from, from him so he can't reach me easily and then pressing like this, trying to open. And uh, well, for this sequence, for this study, we will choose uh, this, this passage. So I'm getting away from him first, always protected and always uh, being careful uh, with his legs, with his knees, uh, with his feet and of course with his arms because he could try to grab or to get my arm like this and he could easily uh, develop his, his position to arm locks and so on. So, one more time. <clears throat> now from here it comes what we were talking about. When it comes to Bujutsu, in this study, every point is a weapon, the weight is a major weapon and the degree of danger here is quite, quite uh, interesting. So, for example, we could and we would strike genitals. When, I, when we say strike, uh, <clears throat> under this site, uh, under this point of view, in this case it would be to hit, pressing, to lock or to grasp violently until we have, uh, it, it, it could be used for example for genitals, for uh, testicles, for ear. So we would say strike first, then grasp, then close, then rotate and then take it off. This is the idea and all that is done usually in less than half of a second. So even if he's still here, Hajime Nakama is not done in our school just like that with the knees wide open for this reason, you see. So once I got here I have genitals, I have elbow uh, by the side of his knee, like this, like this, in ankle or foot, like this. And yet still here, weight is something very um, interesting to be studied, you know. Here, here, here. Although when we study, we often just touch lightly. This should be done like this, attempting to break or to cause a fracture. So once we had this, I, I have just found or created a space, a branch for me to get over his guard. I attempted to break his, his leg, but of course, the sequence won't stop until we reach the ending we want. So, I had always protected. Then from here, what I'm going to do is, I will try to pass over to Yoko Nokamai and to get his, uh, his, his arm, his left arm, so I can find an arm lock here. But of course, I have to do it with the proper, with the due uh, care. So, I had always protected, and when I come to, I, I try to come to Yoko Nokamai, head protected, major points protected. He knows that uh, I could try to get, for, for example, this arm, or I could, I could try to get this arm. So what he'll do is try to avoid this, this choke. He will put his hips to the side and he'll try to stretch his arm to avoid this choke. Now, once I'm here, I can lock his shoulder. I can close my knees, protecting my genitals and getting close to him. What would be smashing with my knee the, the side of his face, his ear, uh, his, his face, his eye, which cause a lot of pain, like this. However, I would just get close to him so I can have, I can uh, take So I can take this space off and I can try to find this lock. It could be done here, it could be done here, you know, in a shime form. Uh, shime. However, from here he won't just stay still. He knows this could happen and he will try to keep uh, spinning so I cannot find his elbow anymore. 
Although he knows he gets into a complicated uh, position because he's turning his back to me, yet he knows that this, this lock could be uh, a very bad position for him. So from now that I'm, that I'm here, what I'm, going, what I'm going to try to do is instead of allowing him to spin, I'll put my weight over his body and I'll spin trying to find a, 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 a scapula lock, as you would say. And from here, having my weight. However, as he knows that this is a, a quite dangerous to, to, to him, he will keep rotating and relieving the pressure over his shoulder, he could be able to get in here. So, let's take one more time and see how we can avoid this. So once he gets here, I'll put my, my weight in a diagonal line and have him here, in the middle of his stem. So by now, I can come to a kuzuri of Yokodo Kamai, in which his left arm is, is locked. It's locked tight here, under uh, my thigh. So once I'm here, I still have a trouble. I cannot just come to a choke from here because he still may find his, his leg position quite strong. So what I gotta do is I cannot find my way downward here. What I have to do is keep myself protected and then trying to choke or trying to uh, apply a lock on this region, on circle. So it's, it would be like this. But he knows this is dangerous too, so he'll try to use that arm, that left arm, to stretch and this leg as well. So in here, what I can do is lock my hand over his shoulder like this, and then trying to uh, trying to keep on to this arm. So he will still tr try to stretch. He tries to stretch because I am here. He stretched with, with, with this arm, okay, and I can get his arm, using my weight. So now I'm in here, I have his arm locked as well, but I cannot use my weight, so he found, he managed to find a way to protect himself. And yet he is coming back to uh, Harajime no Kamai. But now that I, that I have this position and his arm, all I gotta do is Find this angle and rotate, rotate, rotate so that, that his head is locked and the weight of his own body downward. May come to a final lock. So what we saw is a simple application of a method that Ogo-sensei developed which consisted in creating a scenario for your, your enemy not to go through and then uh, taking down his options and taking down his, his possibilities of uh, defending himself to a certain position. And just to, to finish this, this class, this video, let's also remember that besides the usage of Atemi, there, there was always the danger of Aikuchi or small blades, hidden blades, or even Tanto Durin or Katamonuko techniques. Thank you very much.